A late Friday night sports night in the big city. A live look at Little Caesars Arena. March Madness taking over downtown Detroit. Glad you're with us here at 10. I'm Devin Skillian. I'm Kimberly Gill. The second of two games is being played there tonight, and it's brought in fans from all over the country. Jacqueline Francis has been working the story for us. Jacqueline, how's it going? It's good. Those Purdue fans are leaving really excited tonight after Purdue won the first game. And now it's after 10 o'clock and they are just getting ready for tip off of game number two. That's going to be Creighton versus Tennessee. Two major matchups that have put a spotlight on the city of Detroit. We're from uh, Paulding, Ohio. From a small town called Greenville, Tennessee, northeast of Knoxville. I just came from Indiana. These guys came from Washington, D.C. It's the height of March Madness in downtown Detroit. We love Purdue, always have, always will. Two games, four teams, all part of the Sweet 16. I actually live here, but we're from Spokane. So that worked out for you? It worked out perfectly. This trio in blue coached one of Creighton University's star players in high school, making the trip all the way from Aurora, Nebraska. Just to see him play. Uh great kid. The tournament has given great exposure to the city of Detroit, a preview of what we'll see come the NFL draft. I'm a fit anytime downtown and I've really, really been impressed. These Tennessee fans have a late night ahead of them as the second game tipped off after 10 o'clock. We took a nap this afternoon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to prepare. Have you ever been to a basketball game that starts that late? Uh, I think we have actually, yes. Yeah. In the NCAA, you can get some crazy times. So. Crazy times, crazy outfits. It's called a noggin boss, and my dad bought it for me for Christmas. A whole lot of fun. Whoever wins this second game tonight will face off against Purdue this Sunday, right here again at Little Caesars Arena as part of the Elite Eight. Reporting live downtown, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. Okay, great, Jacqueline. We appreciate it.